Welcome back. Well, we need to call um, Detective Tabor in Chicago. So that's number 1312-555-3382. Chicago PD, Detective Tabor speaking. How may I help you? Uh, we want to ask about Tacelli. Detective Tabor says, Oh yes, we know your man, Jason Tacelli, alias Hoffman, alias Pearson. He's linked to a big-time card shark and drug runner named Jesse Baines. Both have dropped from sight in our area. Send you a bug shot of this guy Baines. We already got one. Good luck. <laughs> Um, I want to use the phone again. Call 555-4522. Crime Lab, Detective Williams. Who's speaking, please? Bonds. Hello, Sonny. What can I do for you? Sully. Yes, the prince on the gun matched that Hoffman to Sully fellow. I heard he escaped. Bye now. Click. Okay. Then... Let's uh, get out of the office, I think. I think we need to go straight back in. So now magically Laura's here. Sunny, says Laura, just after you left, a hooker by the name of Sweet Cheeks Marie, who called you precious, Called from the jail and said she needs to see you as soon as possible. Oh. But before you go to the jail, Morgan wants to see you. Okay. Guess we should um, talk to Morgan then. Mm -hmm. It's good to see you, Sonny. Come over to my desk. Hello, Sonny. I hear your little sweetheart is in the can. Sonny, I think your friend Sweet Cheeks may be able to help us out. It seems our drug problem is emanating from the Hotel Del Foria. In lieu of her current state of affairs, I'd bet Sweet Cheeks would be willing to help you establish your cover at the hotel. Go to the jail and see if she'll help you with the ho with the hotel operation. When you get back, I'll put a brief I'll hold a briefing on the operation. I'll call the jail and arrange everything for you. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, we need to uh, head over to the jail then. Seems that despite our warning, Sweet Cheeks has gotten herself caught. Silly girl. Ah, <sighs> that was going to happen at some point. Okay. Now we can go to the jail. Of course, it's not a playthrough of Police Quest without forgetting to do that at least once. Just like crashing is just part of the experience. Part of what makes this game fun. Or something. Uh, 
Now here's an interesting thing. This particular point in the game, if you go inside without putting your gun in the locker, you'll lose points. I don't think that happens in a, any other instance. Most of the time you'll just die if you do it. In this case you'll actually lose points. Well, it's about time, Bonds, exclaims the jailer. That gal in the cell... That gal in cell one has been whining like a lonely puppy for you. Do your best to calm that girl down, will you, Sonny? I don't get paid enough to listen to that crap. Okay. Then we'll need to talk to Sweet Cheeks. As you approach cell one, Sweet Cheeks spots you and says... Oh, Precious, I'm so happy to see you. Please come here and talk to me. I need your help, Sonny. I'm sorry, Sonny, but I got picked up by Operation Trick Trap. Idiot. I know you warned me, but I thought the operation was over. I'll do anything to get out. Oh, Sonny, if only I had someone like you to call my own. Ooh. Wow, sweet lips, you exclaim. Is that hot or what? I'm sorry, Precious, I just couldn't resist you. A cop and a hooker, how nice. They were meant for each other. Oh, please get me out of this place. Oh, we do have a way for her to get out. She needs to help with the hotel operation. Oh, Sonny, I'll help you do anything. Thank you so much. Please tell me what to do. You need to help me, not kiss me again. Embarrassed, you feel as though all the blood in your body has rushed to your face. You explain the arrangements of Sweet Cheeks' immediate release to her. Sweet Cheeks, as soon as you're released, I want you to go to the police station for a meeting with Lieutenant Morgan. Okay. I guess we should head back to the station as well for that briefing that uh, Morgan talked about. Hey, Sonny, says the jailer in a loud voice. You've been messing with my female prisoners, or did you just start wearing lipstick today? Lieutenant Morgan just called. He's sending a car over for Sweet Cheeks. Good. Guess that means we won't have to take her. So let's head back to the station. I should go back through the videos and count how often we've done this particular trip between the station and the and the, the jail. Your radio crackles. A three nine ten respond to current call. Officers on scene need ID of one eight seven victim. Who? Cotton Cove. We had a little detour on our way back to um, station. Cotton Cove is actually in the bottom right corner of the map. That guy nearly hit me. Over there, where the two police cars are. It's a nice little park by the river here. The 187 is a homicide, so I'm guessing what we are here for is not that nice. There we go. It's, the, uh, it's Jack and Keith, by the looks of it, although it could be any of the Jack and Keith copies we've seen walking around, I suppose. Good to see you, Sonny, he says. We've got a ripe one here with no ID. Is this the dude you arrested? Since you're the guy who booked him, we hope you can identify him. 
The dude we arrested, is this supposed to be Hoffman? Let's see. Remove blanket. You lift the white blanket and examine the swollen body. It resembles Jason Tesselli, however, you can't be sure. Remove shirt. Let's see if he has the tattoo. The soggy shirt peels slowly from his chest. Above his left nipple, you spot the flower tattoo, which confirms your identification. It's him, all right. But we're out of time, so we'll continue in the next video.